about what's going on with the investments and how to start again if you have not started already and uh, what to do if you do not know what to do actually and I'm gonna answer some of the questions uh, that you sent me and um, um, basically it's gonna be just a small talk for maybe 10 minutes 10 12 minutes and hopefully towards the end I will provide you with some motivation uh, so you can uh, pro progress on your journey or start your journey investment journey and um, uh, first of all I would like to thank you for everybody who is watching me and I, I appreciate all of your support and uh, I hope that uh, as we continue as I continue making these videos uh, the channel will become even more interesting than it was before and it will provide more educational value to you and and uh, really really appreciate it uh, i've been receiving still a couple of questions because uh, people are scared to even start investing even if they have all these tools and they have all the brokerage firms that provide um, the ability to invest for them uh, they're kind of scared of taking a small step uh, they're scared of taking the risk and that's what the problem that I see with some of the people who are watching uh, if you are scared of losing your money um, right now for example in the United States we have the inflation so uh, you basically even if you have money being stored in the savings account, you're still losing the value of your money. Uh, because of the high inflations, inflation, your money is not worth that much anymore. So if you, if, and as I understand, based of, uh, of my speaking to people, there is inflation everywhere because we've been going through the hard times and we have to deal with inflation. And uh, if you let your money sit in your savings account, it's, it's not going to grow very much because you don't get much interest uh, from any savings accounts. Um, I have some savings in my American Express high yield, so-called high yield savings account. And I think it currently yields like 0.3% uh, or 4% of your money that is there. It's basically nothing you get nothing no matter how much you put in the american uh, express or, or or any other account or chase or, or whatever uh, you're not going to get much of the interest of your money so you kind of have to start thinking about investing if you are scared then perhaps you should invest in a few vehicles such as total stock market etf total stock or, or also some other ETF that I like, such as a total bond market ETF. Uh, so it's gonna you're gonna have a you know your diversified portfolio. Uh, you will spread your money basically just by investing in a small number of ETFs. You'll spread your money all across the market, all across the companies. And uh, I, I don't think that there's a big chance that you're gonna lose your money anyway. I mean, you should speak to your financial advisor since I'm not one. I can give you the advice, but that, that's uh, when you're in doubt, I think you can just pick one or two ETFs uh, to invest such as total stock market, total bond market, and, and just stay with that. Um, and then and, and this is how you start. Uh, you should also ask yourself if you if you're not gonna invest uh, your money what's gonna happen five years from now ten years from now uh, are you gonna be in a better position than you, you are right now if you're not gonna do anything and uh, I've been asking myself this uh, question a lot and that's what pushes me uh, to continue investing um, of course, there is a fear of losing money. There is always a fear. Every time I have to take a risk, I have to evaluate the, this risk and uh, see whether I can actually make some profits or not. Because if I don't think about my investment, there is a good chance of losing money. Uh, 
uh, that's when you have to do your own due diligence. You have to research every time you put something in the stock. You have to do, you have to do the research. Can I just listen? People on the YouTube, you need, you need to read all the articles that the experts uh, are writing. You need to see what the people are saying who actually have uh, these ETFs or, or the people who have invested in stocks. What are they saying about the stocks? What are they saying about ETFs? Uh, there is so much communication right now between the investors and the forums, the community forums, and the various uh, social media platforms. But you can learn so much even from them, from their experiences. And also, as I mentioned in my other video, uh, you should always look at the five-year return for the, for the stock, for the ETF, one-year return. Uh, of course, the past is not going to guarantee the future. The fact that the stock has performed well in the past, it doesn't mean that it's going to be the same thing in the future. But at least you will have some idea of how um, the stock or, or ETF has done in the past, how the stock has gotten through the hard times, through the good times. Uh, you will have an idea of what kind of returns you're going to get. So that, that that's very important and I discussed it in the other video, but that should not prevent you from, from your uh, investment journey. Because uh, as, as I understand that most people are even scared to begin. They don't even start, you know? And if you don't start, then there's a good chance you're not going to achieve uh, the financial freedom uh, through the stock market, you are, you are not going to achieve it. And um, on that note, I, I just want you to think, I just want you to start thinking about it, you know? Uh, because people are watching these videos, but they never take any action. And if they take even one action, or even if they start investing, they get scared, they get scared so much, and they begin to evaluate, did I make the right decision? Like you start investing, putting 100 or 200 dollars, and then you ask yourself, what if I made the wrong decision? What if I put my money in the stock and uh, tomorrow the stock is going to crash or something else is going to happen? I will lose all of my money. What's going to happen in that scenario? Uh, and that's uh, that's what the, the main problem that I see with the people that I talk to. Um, uh, another thing that people uh, said to me that I would need to explain more, I would need to provide more information about the ETFs, uh, the time investing. So uh, let's say I'm investing in QYLD and people are asking, what is QYLD? Well, we know it's an option uh, trading ETF, but we don't know much about it. You're just investing, you're showing us your portfolio, but there is nothing there. So on that note, I would, um, I'm thinking about making this channel more commercial, more educational and valuable rather than just a personal channel. The one that provides mostly motivation for me, hopefully will provide some motivation for you. And I would need to up my game. I would need to, of course, improve the, the videos, video editing. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty new at that. And uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm planning to work on the quality of the videos as well. So my plan for this channel is to make it more educational and more, I guess, commercial in a sense. And I hope again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so right now. Each subscription matters to me. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have at least a small audience that follows me. And I really appreciate it. I support all of you with all of my heart and i'm always there for you and uh, i want you to know so if you can subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it just hit on that notification bell button next time i create the video you're going to be the first one to know about it uh, i i really appreciate it and i hope your weekend is is going well and uh ne next week uh, unfortunately the summer has been uh, very slow for me but uh, in terms of the investing, but uh, right now I'm speaking things up and you'll see it hopefully uh, to go towards the next week or even by the end of the month when I do the summary of my contributions to my portfolio, you will see that I made some, some kind of progress at least. Hopefully you'll, you'll notice it.
And uh, next week I'm expecting uh, the fundraise, which is a private real estate, uh, to make a dividend payment to me. And we'll see how much I will get paid. I will make a video on that. And uh, also another thing, since I have some, a few people who are watching me uh, from different parts of this like world, just a few people there from Korea, Japan, uh, Philippines, Indonesia. I have to I have to tailor some of my videos towards that audience as well. So I have to create some videos that are going to be of some value, more of the value to them as well, uh, because they don't obviously based on the responses from them. They don't have any so many investment vehicles there where they live, so they're very limited when it comes to their investment opportunities. So I should be giving some of uh, the recommendations maybe on how to proceed in that case. I already done it, but just better maybe uh, recommendations. And uh, thank you very much again. I hope you have a nice weekend and I'll, I'll speak to you later. Thank you so much.